Hall of Fame. The trains on the island of New Florida are proud of being really useful. They pull passengers, freight, and gender products to where they need to go of what gender her stuff needs to be done. Amtrak does a good job in North America because it has passenger cars which are single-decker and double-decker. Amfleet, Viewliner, Horizon, Superliner, and Venture are a family of railroad cars built by Siemens and Bud. But Bud is discontinued. Sorry for if I say that. But sometimes freight cars are hooked up behind Amtrak. The Capital Limited does a good job going from Washington, D.C. to Chicago, Illinois. And just as you know, a woman train is a special railroad vehicle that is used for creating new genders for other planets that are trinary instead of non-binary. And sometimes train tracks are next to the highway, which is called a Drusillet. Sorry for if I say that, but it's when train tracks go next to the road. But although women locomotives are strong, they can get the job done and be really useful indeed. Freight trains can be used by multiple engines facing forward or backward because they're bi-directional because turntables are obsolete and that's what makes it more efficient because of use. If one engine is facing outward and the other is facing inward, the engineer can switch to one locomotive and go to the other so they can shunt the train back. But because of this, that can make railroading in New Florida really useful indeed. It was late in the afternoon, and Rosie, Posey, Frankie, Kimberly, Kara, and Malio were pulling Amtrak's Pennsylvanian to Boston South Station for the day. They were taking a party of school kids to the Boston Aquarium to see a new movie about Under the Sea. They were really excited. Here we go! Said the six engines. Woman train coming through! And they steamed down the line. Just then, the MBTA commuter rail, South Coast Rail, came into view. It had a double-decker car on one end and a double-decker cab car on the other, with F40PH pushing it. In the Amfleet car, 
some passengers were having their meal from the cafe car when the MBTA train approached and at last they arrived at the station. Sorry for the woman floating in the air, but I should, but she's going to talk to the engines. So Rosie, Posey, Frankie, Kimberly, Kara, and Malia pulled in just in time. Thanks for coming, Rosie, said Yuna. I'd like you to shunt the train over to the siding. And they backed the train into the facility. We're not weaking, said Rosie. A few minutes later, Rose's cars were shunted into place. All set and ready to go, Alexia said, and Rosie steamed out of the yard. Big, strong woman train departing the yard. She said. <sighs> the gender products were very heavy, but Rosie carried on as she puffed with all her horsepower, as her pistons pumped and her boiler bubbled.